بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Our discussion today will be about the hip joint Hip joint is synovial ball and socket type of joint with hemispherical head of femur articulate with cup shape astabulum of the hip bone and the articular surfaces of the astabulum is horseshoe shaped or C shaped which means it is deficient inferiorly at an area called astabular notch and the cavity of the astabulum is further deepened by presence of a fibrocartilaginous ring called a stabular labrum. This labrum bridge across the stabular notch from what is called transverse stabular ligament. The articular surfaces are covered by higher line cartilage since it is synovial joint. From the outside, the capsule of the hip joint, it encloses the joint and is attached to the stabular labra medially, where it attached to the intertrochantric line of the femur in front from the lateral side and posteriorly it is attached to the posterior aspect of the neck of the femur in midway or halfway along the neck at its attachment to the intertrochantric line some of the fibers were accompanied by blood vessel and are reflected up along the neck forming a band called a retinacula these blood vessels within the retinacula they will supply the head and neck of the femur this figure shows the carved shape astabulum and hemispherical shape head of the femur as they articulate to form the hip joint also you can see the c-shape cartilage hyaline cartilage which forms the articular cartilage of the hip joint and below this cartilage is deficient and is replaced by a ligament called transverse acetabular ligament in this figure you can see that there is a ligament from at the head of the femur accompanied by a blood vessels that comes with the retinacula to supply the head of the femur ligament of the hip joint three ligaments reinforce the external surface of the fibrous membrane of the capsule and stabilize the joint these ligaments are iliofemoral ligament which lies on its anterior to the hip joint triangular in shape with an apex attached to the ilium between the anterior inferior iliac spine and the estabulum and a base attached along the intertrochantric line of the femur second ligament is pupofemoral ligament lies anteroinferior to the hip joint also it is triangular in shape with a base attached to the superior pubic ramus and apex attached to the lower part of intertrochantric line third ligament ischiofemoral ligament 
to reinforce the posterior aspect of the capsule attached medially to the ischium laterally it is attached to the greater trochanter of the femur a fourth ligament called transverse astabular ligament which is formed by the astabular labrum and it bridges along the astabular notch this is transverse astabular ligaments and the fifth ligament called the ligament of the head of the femur which is flat and triangular and it is attached by its apex to a depression or pit on the head of the femur called fovea capitis it has a base which is attached to the transverse ligament and the margin of a stabular notch this ligament it lies within the cavity of the hip joint and it is enclosed or ensheathed by a synovial membrane synovial membrane of the hip joint it lines the capsule and is attached to the margin of the articular surfaces and it covers a portion of the neck of the femur that lies within the joint capsule also it ensheathes the ligament of the head of the femur and covers the pad of fat contained within the astabular fossa a pouch of the synovial membrane may protrude through a gap in the anterior wall of the capsule between the pupofemoral and iliofemoral ligament forming a bursa called psoas bursa since it lies beneath the tendon of the psoas muscle the nerve supply to the hip joint is comes from nerves that pass near the to the joint which means femoral nerve obturator nerve sciatic nerve the nerve to the quadratus femoris also supplies the joint movement that are available at the hip joints first is flexion movement which is performed by iliopsoas rectus femoris muscle sartorius muscle adductor muscles extension which is a backward movement of a flexed thigh which is performed by gluteus maximus and hamstring muscle hamstring muscles means muscles of the posterior compartment of thigh abduction which is performed by gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscles assisted by sartorius and tensor fasciae lata and piriformis muscle abduction movement it is performed by adductor longus and brevis muscle and the adductor fibers of the adductor magnus muscles rotation available at the hip joint both lateral rotation and medial rotation lateral rotation is performed by small muscles of the gluteal region which means piriformis obturator internus of ob obturator externus superior and inferior gemelli quadratus femoris muscle medial rotation is performed by anterior fibers of the gluteus medius and minimus muscle and tensor fasciae lata muscle circumduction is a combination of all previous movement an important note in the hip joint that the muscles that form the extensor group of muscles of the hip joint they are more powerful than the flexor group and another note is that lateral rotator muscles are more powerful than medial rotator muscles 
important relation of the hip joint anteriorly iliosaurus muscle pectineus muscle rectus femoris muscle femoral vessel and femoral nerve posterior relation obturator internus gemelli superior anterior gemellus muscle quadratus femoris and sciatic nerve Superiorly, piriformis muscle and gluteus minimus muscle. Inferiorly, obturator internus muscle tendon. Thank you.